Just so you know, I only picked you to come here with me because you're the only stranger. Well, a person I never talked to before. And I'd rather not end up being in a closet with one of those snake-ass bitches outside. <laughs> you got a point. You could be a snake too, but I don't know. I don't really sense that energy on you. You're not a stranger though, since I've seen you before. Well, technically almost every day since you are in my AP Bio class. In the corner, sitting like a weirdo as always. You know everyone calls you a weirdo, right? <laughs> Sad. Even I think you are. Huh. That sounds like a personal problem for everyone and you. <laughs> I like that answer. And that attitude. Seems like you don't care about people's opinions. I like it. Well, yeah. I just called you weird to try to get a rise out of you on purpose, but it didn't work. And I admire that about you already. You like to mind your business, it seems. Something this whole school can't do since teenagers love projecting their insecurities on other people. Nah, I don't think you're weird. I don't like being bothered either. I completely understand your mood because I'm like that too. Are you? Nervous about something, by the way? I've gotten no eye contact from you ever since we've been in this room. Are you one of those people that just can't do eye contact? Hmm. Can you try with me for just 10 seconds? Just 10. And I will never ask you anything that will get you out your comfort zone ever again. You'd really do it? Okay. Ready? Okay, go. <laughs> Nothing's funny. It's just you have nice warming eyes. It made me a little bit happy seeing them. <laughs> that was only six seconds, but my fault. I probably got you off guard. But it's true though. You're really pretty. Anyways, why are you at this shithole party in the first place? Just to experience what a party is like? You've never gone to a party before like this? <laughs> That's adorable. Well, how's it going for you? You like it so far? Yeah, that's what I thought. The only reason I'm here is because my sister is in a toxic on and off relationship with this guy. I literally wants to push off the face of the earth, and I'm here just to guard her in case I need to beat someone up tonight. I'm pretty sure she disappeared on purpose so that I won't find what they're doing, but I let it slide this time and just regrettably joined to play 7 Minutes in Heaven. <sighs> but luckily, I'm not doing it with someone I highly dislike or I'd tear this whole fucking house down. Yep, Jade is my sister. How'd you know that? You friends with her, or? You know about me and her? So you do know me and her in class. And yeah, in school we're known as the popular and stuck up sisters of the school, but I don't like the label of popularity, but my sister does. She has a lot of friends and she's always on social media and stuff and I'd rather stick to myself. Everyone that tries to talk to me or try to be nice and friendly just seem fake to me, you know? You hear a lot about me? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know the rumors. How I beat a girl up two years ago over a boy and I'm still to this day obsessed with him. Huh, you're the first person to ask if it's true or not instead of assuming it is. Well, no. First of all, the reason I beat up this girl is because she spilled my orange juice in the lunch line, which orange juice is my only hope if you don't know, especially when I have a bad day. And I had a bad day that day too. The only reason it connected to my ex-boyfriend is because later on I found out that he used to flirt with her before our relationship started or whatever. And me being obsessed with him till now part, 
I laugh at that all the time. I'm fucking gay. I mean, I thought it was obvious. I picked you to be in here, even though there are more guys in that room than girls. I heard some two girls that's always been stalking me going like, maybe she's vicarious. Like, no bitch, I'm not attracted to men at all. <laughs> but also again, because you looked interesting and I wanted to get to know you. You heard even worse rumors how I'm crazy and controlling? <laughs> I figured. Well, do I seem like that person to you? Aww, you think I'm nice. But yeah, I'm not as bad as people portray me in the public eye. Especially because these stories aren't true at all. Except the part where I poured milk on my sister's boyfriend's head. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. What do you mean, tell everybody the truth? Why would I waste my time trying to explain people what's real or fake? They're the dumb ones for actually believing it and not minding their damn business. If they think I'm the bad guy, so be it. I don't mind having a bitchy reputation. Plus, it's fun to hear other stories about me that I didn't know about myself. You are kind of different, though, than most people I know. You're a good listener. That's crazy. You have good attitude and confidence, good listening skills, and also good looks. Although we do need to work on the social awkwardness. Of course I think you're good looking. You're drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> I'm glad that it made you happy, but it's a true fact. Is it? crazy that I just have the urge to kiss you right now. Sorry if that made you uncomfortable. I should have asked if you like girls, but it's quite obvious. The Vans and the Rainbow Bracelet. I mean, I have a good gaydar, but even a straight person can see if you're gay in a second, especially with that bracelet. When I said I wanted to kiss you, though, seemed like you were blushing a while ago. I don't really kiss strangers. I personally have to get to know someone for at least two weeks, but it is seven minutes in heaven, and I'd expect that. We don't have to make out, of course, but a little kiss would be fine. Unless you don't want to, that's fine. You sure you're up for it? I don't want to make you think that you have to do it. You felt like you had a connection with me too? <laughs> At least I'm not the only one. Come here. <laughs> I enjoyed it too. Doesn't it feel like it's been over seven minutes, or is it just me? Hold on. Let me yell at them real quick. Can you open the door, please? It's been like seven minutes already. This is why I hate almost everyone. <sighs> Anyways, I want to get to know you a little more. You want to ditch this party and go to that ice cream place three blocks away from here and chill? Let me text my sister.